Hi guys, my name is Steph and I'm about to review the Nutribullet Immersion Blender. Um, I've just unpacked it and washed everything that I need to wash for what I'm going to make today. So I uh, just thought I'd show you the components. So basically the, um, the bit that does all the work um, that is just plugged in at the moment ready to go. I'm going to be using the blending side of things which is the one with the little blade at the bottom pretty easy to put on also you just line it up with the arrow there's an arrow right here and you just line it up with the unlock uh, padlock um, picture and then just twist it um, anti-clockwise to lock it in and as long as the locked symbol is lined up with the um, arrow you're ready to go now I have actually just tried this it's actually quite quiet which is great um, I'll just do it for a couple of times <laughs> So yeah, fairly quiet. So the other components are obviously the chopping one. Um, I won't need that today for the recipe that I'm using, but uh, again, that has got the unlock symbol and the lock symbol on top as well. So basically the same thing for everyone that you're using. Um, the whisk as well, that one, uh, the whisk comes out, just pulls out when you put it back into this little, um, I uh, don't even know what to call that but anyway um, it's just got you just click it in there and make sure it's clicked down and then that again has the padlock open padlock closed as well so you use that the same way so I'm just going to make uh, the ginger mint nice cream which is actually in the, um, the book at the back and I thought I'd give that a go just to see how it goes so here we go um, I might just get my beaker, which is what I'm going to need um, for this recipe, and throw everything in there and we'll see how we go. Alright, so we need the fr uh, frozen bananas in there. And excuse hands, I have washed my hands. And I've used, it does say cauliflower or cauliflower rice, so I've got cauliflower rice here. And just clean my mess up a little. There we go. Uh, what else have we got? We've got some mint leaves as well, which I happen to have fresh ones of, which is quite unusual for me. And some ginger juice or ginger. So I've got fresh ginger in here. So I'm hoping that will um, work fairly well. Pop that in there too. And some lemon juice and unsweetened almond. So I'll pop the lemon juice in there now. And some unsweetened almond milk. Alrighty, so now that I've got all the ingredients in there, now we're going to start to blend and see how we go. Hope you can all see this. I think you really only need to see the, the bit that I'm doing, so let me give it a go. I'll start on the low setting as it um, suggests, and we'll go from there. Alright, so lift that up a little bit higher what can I put on there to use uh, I don't know whether I've got anything at the moment oh, actually I might have let's just lift that up slightly yeah I wonder whether you can see a little bit better Okay, now it does say to not tilt um, the, the blender, so just do it up, straight up and down, so we'll see how we go. This is frozen so um, 
yeah, it might take a little bit, but that's that's fine. I expect that with a um, a lot of frozen stuff. Here, so getting to be blending really well now um, now that the frozen stuff has broken up a little bit I'm just going to do it a little bit more and we should be right to um, pour it into a container I guess if I didn't want to use this beaker there is a lid to this as well so I could actually if I didn't want to use it for anything else in the interim I could just pop the lid on and um, pop that um, into the uh, yeah, into the fridge if I wanted to use that now all right, so I'm just going to keep going for a few a uh, few more seconds and um, see how we go. Excellent. Well, that's definitely, apart from the little bits at the top there, that's definitely blended really, really well. So, um, yeah, that's my uh, first go of the Nutribullet Immersion Blender. And I'm pretty impressed at the moment. So, yeah, I hope you um, enjoyed my little video and um, at least you can see it working beautifully. And I will see you later. Thanks. Bye.